Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lou. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome, welcome, and thank you so much to all of my returnees for supporting me. Today we're going to be doing a Zara haul. Something else I also <laughs> wanted to mention is your girl tried to put on some makeup today, a little more than usual, okay? She got some fake eyelashes on and they are just a bit thing too much. You know, I got them on and I just thought I did not just waste all of that time and all of that energy getting these bad boys on only to pull them off because I don't like the look of it. So I tried to put on some eyeshadow and you know, I don't know, I'm just like, who that? Who that girl? Who is you? So this is the loo you're getting today. Okay, dead. Okay, so we're just gonna make a start on the video. The first piece that I got is the scarf here, which is just bomb. Absolutely love it. It comes in so many different colors and designs and patterns and what have you. So you can see that I've just tied it up at the back there and yeah, I think it's really cool. You can wear it a bunch of different ways and obviously you can wear it on your head, maybe around your waist over a bikini when it's summertime. And yeah, I just think it's really cool. It was like 20 euros and yeah, I think it's super cute. Loving the color, probably need to cut that off. Um, one thing I guess I am noticing is like it is kind of like, it does slide down a little bit. So I am constantly like having to pull it up. But I don't know. I don't know if that's a really big deal for some people. I don't know. All right guys, so I am filming this video slightly different. So bear with me, hopefully. Everything looks okay and that, you know, I sound okay. So moving on to the bottom of this outfit, I do have a pair of flare high-waisted jeans. Now they are quite fitted, like I really had to squeeze to get into them. And you know, I don't have a lot of junk in my trunk, so yeah. They are really, really, really long, so you are gonna have to wear like heels with them, unless you decide to get them hemmed up. You know, I'm wearing heels about this big and they are still fairly close to the ground. I really do like that they have this slit on the inner leg. I think that's super cute. And there is a really subtle distressed patch here. I guess it just gives it that sort of vintage vibe. Overall, I do like these jeans and I think they were maybe like 30 or 40 euros. So yeah. Okay, so here's my next outfit. Um, what should we start with? Let's start with the pants, right? Super long brown trouser pants. I think I got these in like a medium and they are too big. Um, they do sit high waisted. So, I mean, if they were the right size, they would look like that. And I just love them. I absolutely love them. You will have to wear, unless you want to get them hemmed up, you will have to wear like some type of heel. I've just matched them with these H&M boots. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh man, I think that would look cool with a crop pair of pants too. Yes. All right, so moving on to this crop top. It's like a really dressy shirt, but then at the same time it's cropped. So it's giving you like a different vibe. Um, you can see that it's sort of got cuffs. It's got a collar that sort of goes into a v-neck and it has this strap here that you can tie at the back which i think is really cool and it does actually help like so when you're reaching up and things like that if you didn't tie this then this would fully rise mm. yeah so i mean i really like this outfit i think it's really cool and um you could totally dress this top with like skirts or jeans um, or maybe like a different type of trouser, you know, like maybe like a um, three quarter trouser or something like that. Right, so I also got a crop blazer, which I've been dying to get, like a proper boxy blazer that's cropped, you know. It's sort of like a, I don't know, like maybe a sand, a sandy sort of brownie color. Um, and I don't know if I would necessarily wear this anywhere, but it just sort of gives you the look of the crop blazer. Um, it is very boxy. Now I did buy this in a size large and I don't think that was really necessary. When I thought of wearing a crop blazer, I did want that boxy look because I just sort of like how it creates dimension to your outfit and to your body. Do you see what I mean? Like with this bit here, how it doesn't gather anywhere, it just drops and I really like that. Um, you could definitely wear it buttoned up if you liked. So this is what it would look like if it was buttoned up. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like it. Even though I went up a size, I really like it. It's sort of like the look I was going for. But if you were wanting to get one, I don't think you'd need to size up. I guess it depends on, um, you know, what you're going for, love. Like, what look you're going for. 
I actually think it's super cool and I've wanted a crop blazer for a while so love the look of how that falls on me for sure all right so this is our next outfit clearly not a this time type of outfit like it's literally snowing outside and we're not about to walk outside in this but you know it's still going to be okay to wear when we get to summer so let's start with the shorts the shorts are like a really nice fabric and i feel like they're just really comfortable you know like if you were traveling or maybe had to wear them for the whole entire day they wouldn't be restricting and they'll just be very nice to wear they're like a cream color they have a hidden zip and they look like they've got two pockets on the back um but they are a fraud <laughs> they look like pockets but they're not pockets um what else can i tell you about these shorts they are high-waisted and they have sort of like the stitching in the front which i think just makes them look more like a dress pair of shorts and yeah i really like these i think they're really nice they feel really nice moving on to the shoes they're like a square toe nude sandal with a kitten heel um and i think they go really lovely with this outfit just because it's quite a neutral nude toned outfit and we're going to move on to the top now. Right, so this top, I would prefer to wear this top tucked in, right? But we're going to get to that in a minute. So obviously it's one shoulder. It sort of gathers and rouges. Hopefully that's a word. Rouges in certain areas. And I mean, it's quite a dressy top that would look really nice um, in the office with a pair of trousers or tucked into some skirts. So I think tucked in it would look really lovely. Guys, it's a complete nut of bitch to get on. Like... If you're on your own, <laughs> it's going to take you a long time, especially if you're uncoordinated like I am. Like, it just takes you a long time. So it's done up with buttons on the back here, as you can see, and you have to do it, like, you have to do it up like this. Now, we're not used to doing up buttons that way, so it does take a while, unless you've got someone that can help you. That would really be handy. Now, earlier I said that I would have this top tucked in. So, here is the shirt. Sorry, I keep looking over here, I've got a mirror. And I just like looking at myself. Okay, so this is what the shirt looks like normally. It sort of does cinch in slightly here. And you can see that it all sort of gathers to this one spot on the side. I think it's a really lovely dress shirt. However, I wouldn't wear it like this because I just don't think it gives my body any shape. Like I'm quite rect rectangular and I really prefer things to be quite hugging within the waist. Um, which is why I like to tuck things in because it just visually gives me the look that I like um, But this also would look really nice um, not tucked in to like a pair of dress trousers or Maybe some some leggings or something like that really depends on what's your style So I'm actually using the back camera today and it is a little bit tricky because I have to like go to the back of the tripod And like usually I can see myself and it is just a little bit annoying Anyways, not that you care, we're just going to carry on. Alright, as you can see, I've got like a blue dress on. Now, I don't know if I really like this dress. I don't know if it's the colour or the style. But let me know what you think. It is like a... Sort of like a dull sky blue. No, I don't even know what colour blue this is. But hopefully it'll transcend through the camera and you can tell me what type of blue this is. Um, moving on to stuff that I do know. It has a collar and then the, the buttons go to here. So it does sort of expose a little bit of your chest. And the upper part is definitely flowy. And then you tie the bottom part yourself. Um, which I've done over here. I think I've done a really poor job by the way. But you tie it there and it sort of gives a more fitted skirt and lower part which i actually like i do like that i like that about the dress um i've paired it with these boots which i think look dope like honestly do these not look good together i don't know if you don't agree with me what ifs what ifs now the arms they're short i'm not sure if they're meant to be short on purpose but they are short so yeah i don't know what's going on there but yeah, I am undecided with this dress. I'm just not sure. I think I like the colour. I do like the colour. Maybe it's just because I don't wear things like this. I'm not sure. It is like a satin material and it just feels really, really lush. And yeah, you could pair it with a bunch of different other boots. You know, maybe some OTKs or some knee-high boots. And a nice winter jacket would look really pretty. I really think that would look nice. It will be a look. Anyways... 
feel like I've said all that I can say. Man, I did actually do a real shit job of tying that. Hmm. Hmm. So here's another dress that I got. It is like a sort of nude beige colour dress and it has cutouts on the side as you can see. Um, and absolutely love the top. The top has sort of got that baggy bagginess going on. Like the blue dress, baggy up top, more fitted down the bottom. Really love the top. You've got like a really structured collar with once again that v-neck and then it's sort of sort of like it sort of has this like gathering detail as well which I really like. It's sort of like safari like a safari outfit but like a very chic safari outfit. I love the long sleeves, the bagginess, the pocket, really love the top. Overall as a stress I just don't really think it suits me. It doesn't suit my body shape. I mean it doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, I'm just not really a big fan, but this is like a cropped shirt, would absolutely love. I think that this definitely would suit someone that's bigger busted because there is a lot of room to work with in here. Um, and I'm, I don't have a bra on at the minute, so yeah, I feel like it's like, woo, it's real gaping there. Um, not that I, I care, I still like it, but I just think if you've got bigger boobs, you can still get away with wearing this. And I think it would just look a lot nicer. Alright, so here is my next outfit. It is definitely a more summer vacation vibes outfit and I don't know where I'm going because the world still seems to be heavily affected by coronavirus and you know, we're all basically in quarantine or lockdown or some type of restrictions. But dreams are free! Right, like, so the skirt, yeah? The skirt. Clearly has a slit um, and then like a bit of gathering over here. And it's the same colour as this dress, and I still haven't figured out what the colour is. But, you know what? Eh, not bothered. Okay, so I ordered it in a medium, and it is really big. I mean, maybe it's meant to sit here, I'm not too sure, but for me, I personally like to have things high-waisted, and I feel like this is meant to be high-waisted. I would size down, I think if you have a smaller waist, definitely size down. Moving on to the top though, this top I love. I love the colour, I love orange. She says that, but I only have like, I don't even own any orange things. This top came in like different sizes, small, medium, large, etc. Now I probably should have gotten a small because I don't really have anything to fill it out with and I just feel like it's sort of like, is a little bit loose over here. It does come with a super duper long string that you can tie however you want and I didn't know how to tie it. So I just did the worst job and was just like, eh. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of cute together, the orange and the blue. Um, I do like the top. I think it would also look really cool with this blazer on and maybe like some, some like trousers. That would look really cool too. Like if I had this as a suit with this underneath, that would be a look. I'm telling you, that would be a look. Yes. Do we need to say anything else, darling? No. So I think the real MVP of this whole video has been these boots and they're not even from Zara. Okay, so we're moving on to the last outfit, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this black crop, absolutely love it. Plan on getting them in every other colour. So yeah, love this top. It is definitely just going to be like a staple coming up through summer, obviously through spring. And yeah, absolutely love it. Don't know how to describe the style, but we'll go with so many different things, right? Truckies, jeans, shorts, even trousers, actually. Those brown trousers I had on earlier, I think that would look quite cool. Maybe with some like, if you have some, some Nike Air Force Ones, like that would be a real cool like street style vibe. Anywho, going off topic. So this skirt I really love, but it's not the right size. I think I needed to go down a size and order a small. Um, it's sort of like an A, what are they called? Like an A skirt? An A something skirt. I don't know why this always happens to me. Words just elude me. Or they're just not even in my brain to become like whatever. So yeah, I think if it was a lot more fitted, for example, something like that, I think it would look a lot nicer. However, it doesn't, it's a little bit big. 
Um, it has this really cool button detailing down the side, and then as you can see, like a little split there. The, it is like stretchy, and the material is like, it's like quite a structured skirt, so it is like stiff, the material is quite stiff. Now when I bought this skirt, I didn't actually plan on wearing it with this crop top, but they were the last two pieces left, and I thought let's just merge it together. I don't hate it, I actually kind of love it. It is quite a dark look, but I do love the pop colour, and obviously love these boots. Yes, they've been the star of the show. I definitely love this crop top, plan on getting more, love the skirt, just doesn't fit properly. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's the end of the Zara haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it and of course all of these things will be linked in the description box below. Please give it a thumbs up if it was like, you know, bomb and subscribe if you're into these types of things. Next week I'll be bringing you a misguided haul. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you're into fashion hauls, styling tips and just like the odd random thing here and there. But other than that, I do hope that you have a lovely day or a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye!